Hey, so amazing. Uh, you see how they playing? Uh, live wire. It's all about sports and entertainment. Uh, you don't want to miss it. So official, like you never seen. Keep it going till the whistle blowing from the referee. Uh, everything from highlights and stats. You know that we got to run it back. Whether on the field or the court. You know that this is where it's at. Uh, subscribe, no delaying. Uh, this is live wire. Uh, sports and entertainment. Let's go. All right, what's good? Welcome to another Live Wire Sports Media update. And yep, 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 man. So Pat McAfee, um, the outlandish, the outspoken, the the enigma of sports talk radio. Now, he's brash, he's bold. He says pretty much what's on his mind. But when you're working for ESPN, you just don't have that luxury like that. You might could get away saying certain things and certain things they're not going to allow you to say. Now, Pat McAfee, who's been a huge, huge Caitlin Clark fan, um, had on the show. He even wanted her to do a, a kind of like a weekly um, show throughout the year. He was even offered to pay her $1,000 to appear on the show. You know, that would have sparked a lot of controversy if that would have happened. But Pat McAfee a while back was talking about ratings because of the way Caitlin Clark has brought viewership, attendance, and all of this stuff. And he compared it to a lot of different other athletes in the W in the W. So, but he also recently he appeared on a Rich Eisen show and it was talking about the Olympics. And Rich Eisen brought up the case of Caitlin Clark. And he said. He can't. He said the universe is not allowed for him to talk about Caitlin Clark. We already know what the universe is. Now, Outkick put out an article about that, saying that ESPN silenced Pat McAfee. But Pat McAfee went on and say, "Hey, Outkick was a liar, and that he said the universe." Because Pat McAfee is not going to come out and directly say ESPN silenced him. He said the universe. We already know the universe is. You know. Because we already know who Pat McAfee is. We already know he's very outspoken because he used a particular word in his commentary and it sent shockwaves through the air. You know, some deemed it is him calling Caitlin Clark a white BCITH. And but Caitlin Clark and her family never responded to it never you know but later on pat mcafee went back and apologized for it if you don't know what i'm talking about let me refresh your memory real 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 quick and then we'll jump into the main topic like the media people that continue to say this rookie class this rookie class this rookie class nah just call it for what it is there's one white bitch for the indiana team who is a superstar that's your, that's it. That was the 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 moment where I felt like Pat McAfee, ESPN was gonna say, you know what? Hey, we need to shut you down. We need to shut you down. Now we already know Pat McAfee is like I said, he's brash, he's bold, he's very outspoken, he's energized, he talks his he talk his shit. Now, when ESPN brought Pat McAfee over. They brought him over with a large sum of money. Now, you can, you can say now, even though Stephen A. Smith had been there a lot, been there a long time, he has more control or say whatever, but Pat McAfee, they're not going to get rid of Pat McAfee. You know why? Because Pat McAfee draws viewerships. He, he draws viewerships. He draws eyes. He's the young Colin Carherd. If you if you want to put it that way, the young Colin Carher for that show, for that for the um, program. But they not going to allow Pat McAfee to go overboard. Now it comes out that he can't talk about Caitlin Clark. Now, I don't know if he can't talk about Caitlin Clark in any manner or whatever it is. He just can't talk about her at all because of the choice words that he had. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm going to allow y'all to listen to Rich Eisen and Pat McAfee chop it up. And then I'm going to draw my conclusion and 
comments and let you know what you, uh, what I think of it. Which is wild. Like the Olympics saved us this year. I assume same thing for you over there. Uh, Caitlin Clark too, pal. Mm. There's no question about it. Well, the universe told me not to talk about her. <laughs> mm. Uh-oh. Is that right? The, u- the universe. I, yeah, yeah, the universe. Yeah, yeah, sent some messages. Yeah, God yeah. came in and was like, you know what, pal? Probably go ahead and stop it. <laughs> I had no idea about that. Did you have a different universe? By the way, we're back on the Roku channel. Oh, it's great to be back. Hey, this is a good universe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Roku Roku. You're, back. You're yeah. back. I've got about, about, about a minute and 50 <laughs> seconds till the radio audience rejoins, and it, th- it'll be a big audience. Um, so listen, uh, why why is the universe telling you not to talk about Caitlin Clark? Because I'm an idiot. Most <laughs> that, that is, the reason is because I'm an idiot. And I want to say we we yes. are big supporters. We took show to uh, Iowa to support during the first day of Men's March Madness yep. to launch yes. uh, the Women's March Madness because just wanted to catch the vibe of what Iowa was with Caitlin Clark on camp. I think what she has done, obviously remarkable. Now it's the whole rookie class and yada yada yada. We get it. United States Olympic team wreck tickets sold. I'm not even getting into it. But nonetheless, I am right. dumb. And the way I speak, not good. And multiple times, God has come in oh. and been like, you need to stop. Well, plus you're big, you're big in Iowa, though, because you chose Iowa to beat Michigan in the Big Ten Championship game, Pat, if I'm <laughs> not mistaken. Right? Nobody yeah. in Iowa happen? remember that. Uh, I want to let did. you know that nobody in Iowa remember that. All right, guys. Now, if you, if you read between the lines, of what he said because he went on about the Olympics and other stuff and Kate McClark. He pretty much gave y'all the answer that y'all looking for. It was ESPN that was the initial catalyst of telling him not to talk about Kate McClark. And he said, well, all because I'm an idiot and this and that, you know what I'm saying? We already know ESPN, that's what they do because we've seen it with certain other figures. If it wasn't Shannon, it wasn't Stephen A. Smith, it wasn't Ellen Duncan or Ellen Jerry Carter or whoever it was. If they talk something about Caitlin Clark or taking shots at somebody else, they come back with this rhetoric of changing their story. That's how ESPN is. Now, my personal thing, I like Pat McAfee because he brings something different. He's edgy. You know what I'm saying? He's flamboyant. He's like how we are in our YouTube content creation, we can say what we want to say. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes YouTube trips about it, but we still have that freedom to talk our trash. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, I wish Pat McAfee had stayed with FanDuel. That's my personal opinion because he was getting paid more money and he could say what the hell he wanted to say. Because a lot of people tuned into that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got um you got a lot of people that's over there fan do. I think he should have stayed over there. I think maybe they wasn't drawing a lot of audience for him to get more recognized, but he was making his tour. Hell, I would love to see him with Fox. I guarantee you, Fox would allow him to talk his shit on there. You know what I'm saying? I'll bet you a lot of people would have tuned in on the Pat McAfee show on Fox and not looking at, you know, dry ass first take. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. But I think Pat McAfee made a mistake going there. And I think he regretting it and so much. He's not going to say it much because even though he appeared on college football, but hell, he could go on Big Noon. He could go on Big Noon on Fox. He ain't got to go on game day. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, is that he's a polarizing figure. Now, as for ESPN, we already know what ESPN was going to do. We already knew that. But see, if you listen to him and like Rich Eisen and say, oh, oh, because Rich Eisen knows because he used to work for ESPN. So he knows what ESPN is about now. It's not like how they was back in the day where they was able to ad lib and say certain things, you know, and just did commentary or sport. You get to do a little bit more. But as I said before, man, ESPN is you can't take them seriously. You can't. You can't take nothing they say seriously and everything like that. And just because of that, people don't tune into them. They takes this horrible. 
you know, the, to me, I think the best thing they do got over there is Pat McAfee, to be honest with you. And let the truth be told. Because nobody tunes in to watch Stephen A. Smith. Nobody watches um, Malika Andrews. Nobody, I mean, if the WNBA game is on, nobody really watching none of the other people. So it's, it's just they don't have good takes. They don't have good takes at all. You know, they just trying to, yeah, draw you in with this woke Reddit that they have over there. But to me, Pat McAfee said, you know, respond to OutKick, like I said earlier, that nobody tell him what to do in his show or whatever the case will be. I beg to differ because ESPN told you not to talk about Caitlin Clark. So you can't get in, dive into the Caitlin Clark stuff that you want to dive in, like viewership, like attendance, like, or she should have been on Olympics. But they allow Stephen A. Smith or the other ones to talk about her. But you can't bring her up. You take that for what it's worth. Again, this is your boy, Live Wire Sports Media. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about the Pat McAfee situation. With, you know, talking to Rich Eisen about Caitlin Clark. Me, I think it's sad. But anyway, like I said, continue to like, comment, subscribe. And you always know what I say at the end of my video is what it is. Until then, I'm out. Hey, so amazing. Uh, you see how they playing? Uh, live wire. It's all about sports and entertainment. Uh, you don't want to miss it. So official like you never seen. Keep it going till the whistle blowing from the referee. Uh, everything from highlights and stats. You know that we got to run it back. Whether on the field or the court. You know that this is where it's at. Uh, subscribe, no delaying. Uh, this is live wire. Uh, sports and entertainment. Let's go. Hey.